What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Doing pretty good here, thanks for asking. Well, I'm back today with a video. Um, not a riding video, per se, but it does have something to do with bicycles. Um, we've had a few things fall onto us financially. Of course, as things do in life. Uh, just getting our car paid for after six years of struggling. And now we have a couple other things coming into play. So I'm not 100% sure at this moment if I'm going to be able to buy a new road bike like I'm wanting. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is taking some money, uh, save $500 or something along those lines, maybe a smidge more, maybe somewhere in there. Um, and upgrading and updating my Raleigh Redux one that I bought in 2016. Brand new. Beautiful bike. Love it. My favorite bike. It's my most comfortable bike uh, that I've had out of the three that I own. Um, and it is the one bike that I'm going to keep until I stop riding. I'm never giving this. I'm never getting rid of this one. Um... So what I'm thinking of doing, uh, since I wanted a road bike, uh, slash gravel adventure, you know, I wasn't going full road because I like to have the wider tires, so I was looking more at the gravel adventure kind of bikes that allow for the larger, uh, for the wider tires. So I'm thinking of possibly getting drop bars on my bike so let's look at the bike okay it's a Riley Redux 2016 has eight in the rear it's a one by system has this type of a oh derailleur um, we're looking at flat bars of course So, of course, it has the standard press fit or whatever the heck those are. Bottom brackets that nobody likes, I reckon. So, if I go this route, um, which I'm not 100% sure I am, but if I go this route, I don't know if I should go drop bar and and do it that way, uh, or if I should uh, just get a different drivetrain for it, or what, and keep the keep the flat bars or what. I'm not sure. Um, my heart, my mind tells me I'd like to go drop bar because that's what I wanted in you know with a new bike and getting a new road bike is uh, I wanted to have the drop bars and. The shifters here and uh, just a different feeling and more of a, a a standard road bike compared to the trek that I that I was riding. Um, so that's just something I'm throwing out there uh, and I'm coming to you. What do you think? Uh, of course, you know a lot of people say, "Well, that bike's not worth putting that kind of money into. It's not worth messing with. It's a cheap bike. Well, it's a $600 bike." $600 bike ain't cheap to me. Uh, and maybe in your world it is. But $600 is an expensive bike. And nobody I know in my everyday life uh, would spend that kind of money on a bike. So, uh, what do I do? Do I do I get the drop bars and and all that and go, go what? Keep, uh, I mean, could I keep the front... Uh, could I keep the front chain ring? Could I keep this and just get a new... Because I need a new back wheel anyway. Because this one's all... It's way past its good use. Um, could I just get a new wheel with a larger range cassette? And 
had the drop bars with the with the new levers and what have you would I have to get this new um, I'm pretty certain if I go if I were to go uh, and just leave the, the flat bars on there and because I got it like I said I need a new wheel anyway and get a larger range cassette as well in the back for it um, I, I'm, I know I could leave the front ring on it then um, and I'm pretty sure if I get a larger range cassette which I, I really need anyways if I'm going to use this for that type of a bike uh, to try to get a little bit more uh, versatility out of it um, I know I'll need probably a new rear derailleur uh, probably I mean don't they make short and medium and long derailleurs or something like that um, I know I'd have to get a new chain which is good I need a new chain anyway I'm sure so anyway what are your thoughts what are your opinions uh, this could be an interesting little update upgrade uh, build project or do I just leave it as is well I need a new back wheel anyway do I just leave it as is and forget about it what do I do what do y'all think not that I'm gonna do everything that you think but it it's nice to get opinions on things um, and as far as the bottom bracket goes and having to replace all that if I had to I don't know what you can do I don't know uh, the differences really in what what works with what I mean I know I'd end up having to talk to my local bike shop about all this because it's you know trying to figure all this out it's a little bit above my grade a little bit above my skills um, so yeah what are your thoughts what are your opinions should I just save up and try to get a road bike within the next 20 years what do I do so give me your thoughts your opinions like comment share subscribe all that good stuff I appreciate it I'm gonna try and get at least one video out a week um, I think I was just kinda of burnt out because I was trying to push out a video practically every day uh, but I think if I just put out one video a week I'm good to go I'm not here for the money or the fame and fortune I'm just here to hang out and connect with people and leave my mark on society when I die so guys don't forget you can get up get out get ready do it to it even when helping with opinions on a bike upgrade we'll see y'all later pieces yo